Hi there, Janners. Welcome back to another episode of Janners on Tour. It is the 30th of June, 2024, and we are in the middle of the summer, but we thought we'd come back today to do our annual fixture uh, release video. So, how are you doing, Rich? You good? Yeah, not doing too bad. Yeah, it's nice to see the fit to finally done it at long last. It is, middle of the summer. How are you coping without the football? Uh, the Euro helping out Euros a lot. The Euro is definitely helping, yeah. What about you then, Sean? You good? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, we're all looking forward to the season. Uh, yesterday, the uh, kit was sort of launched as well, so tomorrow that's going to be out. So we'll start to see fans in that one. And obviously, most importantly, while we're here today, the fixtures for the championship season are now out, with the players coming back for pre-season training in a few days' time. So um, the 3rd of July. On Wednesday. So we are going to go through the fixtures now, just very briefly, month by month, talk about how we think they are, what we're looking forward to the most. Yeah. And um, then after this video... We'll be sort of heading towards pre-season and the season kicking off. So, season starts in August with Sheffield Wednesday away. So, tricky game, Rich. Tricky game and then a very improving team. Mm -hmm. Last season, so, Sheffield Wednesday, we've got in the white ribbon at the white time. And then not going to be an easy match for us. Not at all. They've got a good manager as well. Danny Rowe, yeah. yeah. Very impressive. Young manager, German. Yeah. And obviously, a big family one for you, as we always say, every season, Sean. Yeah. Um, what are you thinking for that one? Hopefully, I'll... A draw. I'll yeah, take a I'll draw. take a draw. Yeah. A draw be take the yeah. We haven't got good results. No, and it's squad. and it's a TV game on the Sunday too. So Rooney's yeah. first competitive game. So it should be an interesting one. And um, then the following week we are at home to Hull. So funnily enough, the last home game is our first home game. So definitely going to be a change side though, aren't they? So we'll should be. be. And yeah. a new man at the Buffy Dot Cheltenham on we are well. And then Cheltenham in the uh, League One, uh, League so League Cup, sorry, for obviously they're in League Two now, so a, probably a good tie for us to get through. Good tie before yeah. City, yeah. Um, and then we've got um, Queen's Park Rangers away, followed by arguably probably one of the biggest home games of the season, Stoke at home. It's come very early. Yeah, team and two match with Dundee on board. And I'll be on it, I got a bad feeling Dundee get a very, very fucky reception. Well, of course he will, but you know, it's, that's, that's what happens in football, eh? But. That'll be a big one, and you think, Sean, that'll be on TV as well, probably? Yeah. Probably so, moved Friday. Yeah. So yeah. overall, in that first month, I think that's not a bad start. Hull at home potentially could get a win there. QPR depends how much they improve, and Stoke at home in our area of the table last season. So yeah. not a bad well, start. The best we really needed to uh, in the first month of the season, uh, our own work to it. The own work to do with John. And those two home games really are a good chance for us to get positive results. And it... A really good dent in my eye yeah, being at home. Definitely. Cool. Well, so going to September, so I'll just list off the games and then just quickly give a brief one. Less games there because I presume there's an international break. Um, Sunderland at home, West Brom away, and Luton at home. Quite a tricky month. That one is tipty. Sunderland got a new Fent manager, and I don't yeah. know nothing about him at all. No. West Brom is. Always a tough place to all, go. Always tough. Yeah. It'll be a talent for her. You're better be away from home. Yeah, and then Luton obviously come down from the Premier League, so it can be tough. Oh, Luton. Yeah. Oh, uh, a bad memory of Luton on Saturday. That's it, and those are all Saturday games, so um, yeah, I presume there's gonna, there'll be a uh, international break in there somewhere. I think that would be that First there, week. and I'll talk that thing, yeah. Yeah, so that's that one. Um, and then October's quite a busy month. We've got five games. We've got Burnley away, so nice easy start to the month. <laughs> Blackburn at home. We did win that one last season. Cardiff away, Millwall away. And then Preston at home, so maybe the return of Ryan Lowe again. So, <laughs> what's your thoughts on that month, Sean? Tricky. The way you see is picking up points there. Any other way? Maybe Cardiff, maybe away. Blackburn maybe, at home. Maybe Cardiff. Yeah, Blackburn at home, obviously, depends how they improve. I mean, the Cardiff, Blackburn, and Beckton. Yeah. Millwall, we got a bad record at Burnley. I don't remember the last time we played away did Burnley. No, that's it. And then November seems to be a very busy month. Six games in November. Bit of a mixed one as well. So, we've got Leeds away. Big game then the first dockyard derby in the championship for a very very long very time very long time that's a Tuesday night at home park so that'll be a good one derby away we'll see your dad's a derby fan so yeah. that'll be a big one my dad one. a 50-50 down the middle on that one yeah then, Indeed, anyone who win that one Nor uh, Watford at home Norwich away on a Tuesday night which is a killer and Bristol City away, which we all know didn't go great last time, but it's no. a Saturday this year, so a bit better. And more down for more family to do it. Yeah, potentially one that we could try and do, maybe. Bristol Definitely. away. But that month, it's a nightmare in my eye. Yeah, a lot of travelling that month. Yeah, leave Leeds, Derby, Norwich, Norwich yeah. and Bristol all away. We don't need it to at least put up f at least four or five points out on that yeah, month. Yeah, tricky month, isn't it? And then it doesn't get any um, quieter in, um, in Christmas because we've again got six games in December. 
bit of a kind of month in some ways. We've got Oxford twice. Yeah. So we've got Oxford and United at home um, at the start. That's one that I think we're going to need to be looking at winning. Yeah. Um, Swansea at home again, Tuesday night. Winnable. Two games right. in a row, that'll be good. Sheffield United away, very tricky tie. Borough at home. Coventry away on Boxing Day, which we're going to hopefully do. Yeah. Again, away on Boxing Day, eighth time eighth in a row. Year, it? <laughs> the, the supercomputer don't like us, does it? Um, and then away to Oxford United on the uh, on the last game of December. So six points against Oxford, I think, would be a definitely. And game. try and get turn that off. Wansley yeah. and maybe Borough. We've got a draw last and season. And maybe Tom at your way if he detects something. Yeah. So a, a mixed month again. Mixed. Yeah. yeah. Show, and then. Then yeah, so then going into New Year, so the first New Year's Day we are at home, which is again probably one of the other bigger games of the season. Bristol City at home. Yeah. Also, followed by the if we took not long eh? and that looked different. So the first and the fourth. So we've got Stoke on the fourth. So it looks like the FA Cup will be after that, a bit later this year. Yeah. Um. So again, Stoke away. We obviously came unstuck there last season. Stoke were way too. They were. For um. Bristol City obviously being the game that sealed uh, Foster's fate. Last the season, poor one yeah. nil lost there. So hopefully that can improve this season. Yeah. Um. Followed by QPR at home, Burnley at home on a Wednesday. That'll be a good game. That'll Ooh. be on TV, I think. Yeah. So that's a tough one. And then Sunderland away. So mixed again. Mixed again, but I went to. Like the two behind Bristol City one, or we definitely have to try and get something there. Yeah, definitely. But we don't and Sunderland and Burnley at home to die for something, yeah. but it would not be easy at all. But we've noticed, Rich, there's not been that many occasions where we're at home twice in a row, is there, not, this season? Quite a lot of away games and home, away, yeah. away, home. Yeah, so it's mixed. Then February, we've got um, five games. So we've got West Brom at home, so again, tricky. Luton away, Millwall at home. Rovers away and Cardiff at home. Overall, a bit of a nicer month, maybe. A nicer month, yeah. Yeah, apart from Luton away, I think. And um, West well, Brom at home, maybe after what they've done last season. Like, mm. at Worst home. game at home all season, I think. Wasn't that strong? Um, Luton, obviously, we've done before. Yeah. So, not the greatest place to travel, but no. it'd be tricky. Okay. But they got a brand new away end built up. So, yeah. not. For the Premier League, yeah. 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 Okay, the games keep coming thick and fast. In March, we've got a f- another uh, three, four, five games. A bit of travelling again. Uh, we've got Hull away, um, Sheffield Wednesday at home, Tuesday away to Pompey, home to Derby County, that'll be a big game, and then away to Watford. Yeah, so you never feel away, Matt, sir. Yeah, so it's away home, away home, isn't it? Yeah, and we're all working with Pompey, and the, every time we play Pompey, so the last time you and me and mm. Son all went together, the last time we won at Facton Park. Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah good and Mark's bit to be 2 2 or 1 1 fit to mm. at Facton Park, so. I like to, I wish I took Jordan Factor, but on a Tuesday night it's impossible. It's tricky, yeah. And then going into April, so a very busy month again, six games. This is sort of the final run in, and it isn't the easiest end to the season. So Norwich at home, Swansea away, Sheffield United at home, Borough away on a Friday, which will be tricky. I presume that's a good Friday. Good Friday, then yeah. Coventry at home, Easter Monday, that'll be a good tie. And then Preston away to end the month. So overall, mixed again. It's a very, very hard month. Yeah, it is. We, we have to die that safe before we dot mm. coming down. We need to die to be safe about Middlesbrough in my Yeah, life. those two Easter games will be big. I think Coventry at home definitely sort of second to last away get a home game. Yeah, and then only one game in May, Saturday the third. <laughs> Probably not the ideal game to need to win if we need it. H- uh, Leeds at home. Yeah, I have to be honest. The Leeds United fan last season was brilliant. Mm. Now the f- amount of garbage we got by Leeds United fan yeah, bit it last brilliant. season. So, and I threw video of last season with Leeds, Leeds United. Yeah, big, big Leeds club. United, Matt, last season was I threw video. Yeah. But looking at those fixtures, you know, it's going to be a very tricky league, isn't it? You know, we've got to Burnley there, Leeds, Luton are probably Luton, going to be yeah. there. It's going to be tough. Sheffield United, the teams that came up, you know, all, you know, they're no mugs either, are they? So. Now, Opfer, I went to Opfer, we get a really tough debt in Yeah, I think we need to be able to beat them. So, looking at the fixture, I'll start with you, Rich, first. What is your standout, maybe, game or two? Couple games. What are you looking Sheffield forward United to? Sheffield United at home. Yeah, you never seen them live. Never you? seen Sheffield United live in person before. No. Obviously, uh, Stoke will be a good one. Joke definitely one. Yeah. Um, hopefully, that don't know about the away fit at the moment. We are just trying yeah, to work it out. Do yeah. I'm looking forward to Bristol City on New Year's Day as well. Yeah, yeah. we met that one last year. That's it. Hopefully, a nice little cup run too would would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know what one I like more, FA Cup or the Tower Cup. For me, it's FA Cup. Ever come ways, yeah. What about you, Sean? What are you looking forward to the most? Oakland Day. Yeah. Sheffield Wednesday. Wednesday away. Yeah. Um, Stoke at home. And 
Oh. Going to a few more, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to aim for Boxing Day. So good. So yeah. yeah so overall fixtures, you know, they're um. Well, we've got to play everyone twice anyway. Yeah. But in terms of the way they've come out, obviously a lot of these are going to be subject to change, aren't they? Because yeah. of the TV deal. So there might be games that say Saturday, but could potentially be the Friday night, maybe even the Sunday now. So yeah, they will change a lot. But obviously, oh, as the Monday. season goes on, luckily, Monday, yeah. out of forty-six games, we only have twenty-four lives. So. There would do be a lot of free top jail, yeah. but only about half the yeah. season be about 24 yeah. be live, so we haven't to work on all yeah. that away. But being home, mostly home games, it'll be fine, doesn't really matter too nah. much. Away one would yeah. be more harder. Perfect. Well, so that's the fixtures, guys, so I hope you enjoyed sort of our little take on it. Before we go, just a couple of sort of updates. Um, disappointing news uh, on Thursday with Michael Cooper rejecting a contract. He was going to be the highest paid player at the club. I don't begrudge him really. The only thing I would say is obviously we have stuck through him by him through injury. Yeah. Um I don't know what you think of that, Rich. With me, I by me feel like the keeper just want a Dallin. Yeah. They want to do somewhere well. better, but only issue with that is he may not be down to number one. He may have no. to earn it basically be at the new judge before That's another true. team. That's true. What about you, Sean? Bit good news, isn't it? But Got him, but he's stuck around. Kind of yeah, he's stuck around a while, so you know. Yeah. Um, and also another rumor that looking likely to happen is that Leeds United are apparently going to be loading us uh, Garby again for the season. Yeah, that one look more certain yeah. by the rumor. Yeah, solid player, bit hit and miss at times, but overall, I think Rooney really, can get the best out of him. Yeah, and I think a full B season for him yeah. down there, and that would be a massive benefit. To That's him. true. And then we are—I don't know his name—but linked with a player from uh, Slavia Prague. Slavia well, Prague. Striker. Yeah. Nigerian Titan, 23 year old, yeah. six foot four. It's a big physical prep. Bit of a bundu, probably. Uh, yeah, yeah, but in back to it, yeah. you know what I issue with last season? Every time we got a boy, nobody added yeah. a friend. So, where am I seen it? I'm on YouTube and he got a powerful edit on him. There you go. So, hopefully, that's so. So, obviously, the boys are back in a couple of days. I'm imagining now that the kit's going to be released. And Rooney's back in Plymouth from the Euros. I think we're going to start hearing lots of news. So, if, we, if there's anything significant, we might do a little mini TikTok video. But YouTube-wise, we will be back at the start of the season. Not too sure about pre-season yet, what's going on. But definitely for the um, start oh, of the season. definitely be telling them down, Matt. That one would be definitely at home in the yeah. one. But the pre-season friendly... I don't want to talk tea out at the yeah. moment, but at the moment, it, I'm down on it, really. Yeah. So, guys, thank you for the support. Obviously, um, we'll keep growing the channel. We'll hopefully have a good season to bring you. Um, and we will see you very shortly for the start of the season. And as I say, we'll be back for any uh, news over the summer. Not too long to go now, guys. We're halfway through the summer. It's going quite quick. Eight weeks since the season ended. Oh, wow. And um, fast. we will see you soon for the big kickoff. Come on, me.